video of 2018, give it a thumbs up after you watch it, just in case it's trash. What up everyone, it's your girl, Superwoman, and it's a new year, which means a lot of people are on that new year, new me vibe, you know, making crazy decisions, like going to the gym, changing their hair, and the most terrifying, deciding to get married. You know, I personally thought marriage was one of those trends that we were gonna leave in 2017 with like fidget spinners and irresponsible vlogging, but apparently not. It's here to stay. Friends, friends everywhere getting engaged, and if you think it's not happening to you, you're wrong, okay? Just check the international marriage database. Ring pictures, same day edits, captions about marrying your loyal best friend, and I'm just like, you marrying your dog? Prepare yourself for the weddings of 2018 by expecting the following types of people. Number one, painful public sp 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 speakers. Now these are the friends and family members of the couple that have no public speaking abilities or experience, but they up there making a speech anyway, just as it, I just hit puberty. They, they up there, they, I just hit puberty, god damn, finally at the tender age of 21. Okay, wait, now before you think I'm evil, okay, I'm all for people's friends and family expressing their love and pride and all that stuff for the couple, that's fine, but I feel like if your friend is gonna make a speech at your wedding, you should at least prep them. For example, require them to write it down. <laughs> Like, ho, this is not an essay, okay? You do not need to hit the word count. I leave that wedding not knowing a single thing about Pat. Also, there should be guidelines about the types of stories they're allowed to tell. Yo, what's good? Yo, let me tell you a funny story about my boy Junkie, yo. Yo, the day he met Preeti, right? They just finished their date or whatever still. And he's like, yo, I want to roll one, right? Like, you know, get high and stuff. You know, Junkie loves drugs. You know, that's my boy! You know what I'm saying? So then we're sitting there, you know, smoking a ting and a sweeter ting walks by. Juggy goes and gets them digits. You know, that's my boy right there. No, my boy! You know what I'm saying? So pretty, I just want to tell you mad lucky still, fam. Okay, because this guy, he's fire. He gets all the gallum, you know, all the time. He, even today, I saw mad gallum just on his ting, you know what I'm saying? Yo, anytime I ever wanted anything, Juggy stole it from me. Yo, yeah, that's what's up. Yo, all the bridesmaids, all the holla at your boy, you know? What's good fam, B-Town represent, my boy, yo, star, all right, sick. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you, no, no, are you? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Why are you trying to make their wedding day the same day their grandma had a heart attack? Are you dumb? Not to mention that a speech should be like two minutes max, okay? Some people are up there forever and they don't even realize it. And I'm just like, bruh, yeah, the couple's already divorced, okay? Sit down. Number two, the drunk um. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure if this is like a universal thing or just something that I know because I'm Punjabi. Like, comment below and let me know. Every wedding has that one drunk uncle who is sweating profusely that takes over the entire event. And sweating is mandatory, okay? If he ain't sweating, it's not the drunk unk. His back needs to look like this. Like his shirt should look like the world map, okay? Because if it doesn't, then that's not the drunk unk. It's probably like his understudy or something. Drunk unk is for sure gonna grab the microphone in the middle of dancing. Hold on, hold on, stop the music! Stop the music, please, please, let me do, let me do, please. Hello, everybody. I want to say many happy return to happy couple. Join me. And Pablo. Preeti. You know I want to say Johnny remember. Johnny. That happy wife equal happy life. You know, maybe I'm wrong for doing like this, I'm sorry. Okay, but in my heart, I feel kid or future. Thank you. You know what Johnny? Johnny. I'm so happy today. I'm going to give everybody 50% off so far. Okay, A1 feature. Come talk to me. Okay, play Justin Bieber. Drunk Unk is for sure gonna get pissed off when the DJ tries to end the night. Hey, what are you doing, man? No, that's one more. No, 
Mas fora! Não chorar, porque é chorar! Não é chorar, porque é chorar! Não é chorar, porque é chorar! And drunk aunt gonna be all up on the dance floor dancing with sexual undertones but not realizing it. like homosexual when they're drunk and from their sexual movements when they're drunk you're like yo I got a lot of questions about how my cousin was conceived because clearly the man has no rhythm so like did my aunt have to learn how to off beat to get pregnant because I just... is my cousin adopted just Number three, the evasive camera guy. Quite possibly the most annoying person at a wedding is the invasive camera guy that takes his job way too seriously. In the way, 100% of the time. Blocking your view from the action, 100% of the time. Yeah, you'll have your wedding video in three months, 100% line. Just while you're dancing. <laughs> while you're eating. There she is. All right, here we go. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, okay. There it is. Mm -hmm. During the kiss. You may now kiss the bride. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Wait, take it easy, okay? But do you realize that the moment portrait mode starts working in low light, you won't have a job. Number four. Waterworks. <laughs> so stupid. Here's my question. Okay, have movies like Moana, Coco, Inside Out not prepared you for the harsh realities of the world? Why are there still so many people crying during weddings? Like, okay, maybe I understand the parents and the siblings and the close family, etc. But they'll be randos, okay? I'm talking straight up wedding set extras that got invited through like effing Kijiji and Craigslist and crap, okay? They're just bawling their eyes out. And also, what exactly are you crying about? They are happily getting married. You out here acting like Mufasa just died again. Like, what? <laughs> They're there. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> so fast. I know. I know. How, how do you know the couple? Oh, I don't. No, I'm just part of the catering. There we go. Keep crying. Keep crying. Play the camera. <laughs> yeah, Number five, bitter bridesmaids. Now, it's important to remember that the wedding is not just about the bride, okay? It's about the bridesmaids and the one job they're there to do. Support the bride? Don't be a moron, this isn't Twilight. The bridesmaids are there to prove that they are closest to the bride, closer than any of the other bridesmaids. That's right, it's actually their wedding, okay? It's about them. Because every bridesmaid believes in her heart that yeah, all the rest of y'all hoes are here for aesthetic, but me, I'm the one true bridesmaid that is closest to the bride. For sure, there'll be some sort of competition in the speeches, like, yeah, well, you know, me and the bride, we remember that time we made our one? <laughs> the next girl will just be like, yeah, well, you know, me and the bride, we've known each other since grade two. <laughs> Wait, should you hear, did you hear that? All that passive aggressiveness. As a result of this, do you think that the bride is dying of like some sort of terminal illness the way all the bridesmaids are at her beck and call? Are you hungry? Have you eaten? What can I get you? You look so beautiful, okay? Don't worry about anything, I love you. Are you thirsty? Let me get you water. Tell me what you need. What, are you itchy? Are you itchy? Tell me where. Just tell me where. Straight up, bridesmaids are the only people who post more pictures about the wedding than the actual couple. Like, when the hell did y'all have your own photo shoot? Just like, yo, the bride is crying with her family. Yeah, we got five minutes, we got the best phone. How do I know this, you ask? Please, <laughs> because I've been that basic whole bridesmaid. <laughs> Real talk though, don't be offended by this video if you are engaged, if you're married or whatever else, because leave getting offended behind in 2017, okay? This is all good vibes. And if you're genuinely happy about getting married, then I am happy for you, and I wish you nothing but the best. I hope your wedding hashtag flourishes. I've actually been considering marrying my own bae too. I know it's crazy, but I've been considering. You know, you know what? You know what? First video, I'm gonna show you a picture. First time, I'm gonna show you a picture. We are so adorable. Aren't we so cute? Look at us. Oh, me and bae. 
Yo, 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 not so fast, hold on, don't wait, not so fast. Before we go to the end card, I gotta tell you, if you like my sweater, my girl loves sweater, with Stronger Together on the sleeves, as well as a whole bunch of other merch, you can get it at lilysing.com. It's available right now, and it's super soft, and it's lit, and if you don't believe me, ask Twitter, because if it's on the internet, it's true. Okay, bye! <laughs> I'm a boy humble, yo, still. This guy, like 10 years ago, I'm gonna call myself Humble the Poet because that's not a long hashtag or username. Uh, everybody knows, uh, his friends know, but maybe maybe you don't know, cat's girlfriend. Um, <laughs> sorry. I mean, this man's so absent now, let me just tell you one time. Bringing a Monopoly deal, I done him. He got canceled, fam. There's so many morons do this. Sorry, sorry fans. If you've done this, you're so talented. Okay, Rexdale, Scarborough, it's a East Side Ting, eh? Humble the Poet, signing out. I only got two minutes to fill your cranium and three minutes to fill this, whatever. <laughs> hey, Happy New Year! If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. You want a little sneak peek of what my next video is gonna be? Hold up. One Love Superwoman, that is a wrap and zoop! Manjit Singh, Chandigarh, Sector 17. Hello. Happy New Year. New Year, new me. <laughs>